Hi, my name is Gerhard Schwartner and welcome to Selling Power TV. Today we have the pleasure of meeting with Dr. David Schoer. He's on the faculty of Harvard University. Congratulations to your new book on launching and leading change initiatives. Thank you. So, what got you interested in focusing on meeting management? Well, it's, it's a great question. I was actually recently at a meeting in England uh, at the University of Cambridge, which is where the great uh, theoretical physicist Stephen Hawking is. And more than one person said to me that in his wry sense of humor, humor uh, Professor Hawking said that one of the great things, uh, if the only thing about his motor neuron disease, Lou Gehrig's disease, ALS, is that he was excused from meetings. He didn't have to go to meetings. And um, when I was flying back to Boston, I could not get that comment out of my head that that, that was the good thing about having ALS. And the following day, I was invited to sit in on a, um, uh, a C-suite weekly meeting. At the end of that meeting, the CEO said to the executive team, okay, we're done, now we can get back to work. And it just struck me what Professor Hawking and the CEO said. They embodied the notion that you can either meet or you can do something productive, but you can't do both. And so, you know, in the, in the time management field, there's this notion that if you can get yourself organized, you can have enough time. And point of fact, that's not the case. And so you have to decide how you're going to spend your time. And currently, the average sales manager and above spends between 3.5 and 5.5 hours per day, per day in meetings, which they self-define as boring and wasteful. It seemed to me there's got to be a better way. You were teaching at Harvard about project management, and I know you're an expert in branding. When you teach at Harvard, how do your students respond to the subject of meeting management? So, uh, you know, there's one thing that students and professionals have in common, and that is that they don't have enough time. Uh, and so they're looking for ways of reducing the amount of time that they have. And so imagine, I, I, I have them imagine if they could reduce by 75% the amount of time that they spend in meetings that they self-define as unproductive and inefficient. And these students are very bright, very cutting edge, and just like in, in, among sales manager, think about how sales has changed over the last century. But you know what? Meetings held today are the same as they were held a hundred years ago. In fact, many of them around the same tables and using the same chairs. So my students, many of whom are, are mid-career professionals, are extremely receptive to thinking about ways to eliminate waste and inefficiencies. How have you transformed meeting management? Um, we've come up with a triple aim, and the triple aim is um, fewer, shorter, and better. That is, I'm not at all arguing that you should not have meetings, but rather that there should be fewer meetings, and we have a substitute for the traditional one-hour meeting. And of course, it's silly to talk about a one-hour meeting. There is no such thing as a one-hour meeting unless there's one person at the meeting. Uh, but in fact, if there are 10 people, which is the average meeting size, it's really a 10-hour meeting. So we've reconfigured the language around it, and our objective with this triple aim of fewer, shorter, better is to take out millions, literally to take out millions. That is, millions of hours of unproductive and boring meetings and millions of dollars in unnecessary meetings. And when I talk about millions of dollars and millions of hours, it's very easy to get to millions. Um, again, when you think about a 60-minute meeting with 10 people, uh, when you think about the fact that the average cost of a meeting is $1,100, that's simply the salary benefits and the direct cost of the meeting. So 
in organizations I work with, we have changed the culture where someone can never say, I'd like to have a one hour meeting. The question is, I'd like to have an $1,100 meeting. And then people need to think, gee, do we really need to have an $1,100 meeting? Or is there some other way we might accomplish what we want to accomplish? Thank you, David, for sharing your time and money-saving insights. Thank you very much, Gerhard. Mm -hmm.